Well, we're going to get King out here in just a moment, but first, I want you to, uh, to hear what Jeff Jarrett had to say about that situation, which involved Lawler and uh, Eddie Gilbert, the fire, and also involved uh, Eddie Marlin, as Lance oh, yeah. pointed out with a commentary. Yeah. Watch this. First, Jeff, I want to thank you for at least sitting here to talk about this thing after this whole night is, is concluded. It was something else. I got to tell you the honest truth. I, was, I haven't had a chance to talk to you before. Uh, I was very surprised when I heard you listen to the garbage this dream machine has been putting out and what he says Lawler's been saying, and very disappointed in your attitude coming down here for this. Well, night. Lance, you know, a lot of things have changed since the last time me and you talked. And quite frankly, ever since I've been to Memphis today, all I've heard is, Jeff, don't listen to the dream machine. Double J's, all the dream machine's talking about is lie. Amen. And, well, and then when I got to the building, Lance, that's all I heard. And then when I got to ringside, Lance, walking through the ring and I got up to the ring, that's all I could hear is Double J, don't listen to the thing yeah, Dream Machine's yeah, saying. Oh, well, let me, I'll finish, Eddie. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jeff, you know, and Lance, you know, I come down to the TV every Saturday morning. Yes, sir. And I'm out here at the Coliseum every Monday night. And honestly, I've never heard Jerry Lawler say anything about you, bad about you. Even when you first started, he said, Eddie, someday you'll be great. And since you have become great, and I'll say that, he has told me that, said he's a great wrestler. Now, and I just come from his room, Jeff, and he's down in the dumps about what happened. And he said, I'd give anything in the world if Jeff could get another open date on a Monday night with the WWF so he could come down here. And he and I teamed together one more time and paid the Dream Machine and Eddie Gilbert well, what they did Let tonight. me just say, this isn't going to be the last time. I made the decision to come here tonight right. to be the Dream Machine's partner. And, you know, I'm letting the fans know that right now. I'm not going to cry over spilt milk and Dream Machine's going to bring me in here as my partner. I'm not going to put all the blame on him. I made the decision. Well, I'm making another decision. I don't know if I'm booked or not next Monday, but I'll make a point. I'll be here, and that's a promise to you, and a promise to you, Lance. All right. And Eddie Gilbert, you Dream Machine especially. These two guys <laughs> I've known since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. They've never lied to me, and I should have listened to them in the first place. So Dream Machine... You bring Eddie Gilbert down, and you, Eddie Gilbert, yeah, everybody wants to get to the top, and they'll do anything, and Double J will stand them toe-to-toe, -to -toe, face to face right smack dead in the middle of the face and tell them, hey, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. No, but you've got to do some come low-down, dirty deeds. Mm. <laughs> well, Monday night, next Monday night, the King and Double J, Dream Machine and Eddie Gilbert, you better get ready because you're looking at the two greatest wrestlers in the world today. That is going to be worth being there to see. Man, what a match that's going to be. Yeah. Double J and the King teamed up again, and I expect a different set of circumstances after this week. Here comes the King right here. All the fans want to say hello to him as he heads around this way. We want to talk to him about this situation with Eddie Gilbert, and, and I got to tell you, I, I, I made the mistake. I think all the fans did. We trusted Eddie Gilbert. We should have known better, I guess. Well... You know, I'm not going to come out here and do a lot of screaming, a lot of ranting, a lot of raving, because I, I just, you know, that's not what I'm feeling inside right now. I do know that, um, I remember back when I was a little kid growing up, lived part of my life up in Ohio, and there used to be a show that came on in the uh, afternoon. As a matter of fact, I used to eat lunch with it every day, and the guy, a lot of people know this guy. There's a guy named Soupy Sales that had a TV show. He would end every TV show by saying, and I almost thought Eddie Gilbert was going to say something like it, but he would end every one of those TV shows, and I watched it every single day, by saying, remember, kids, you can fool some of the people all of the time and all of the people some of the time, but you can't fool Mom. And that, I guess, has just stuck with me because last Sunday, which happened to be Mother's Day, this match was already set. My mother had watched the TV show on Saturday. And I was at her house, because, and, and I hope she's doing fine. Of course, I, I, I know she's doing better, but my mom fell last week yeah. and, and broke her arm. And, and uh, so I've been spending some time with her. But anyway, that day, before I left her house, she said one thing to me. She said, don't trust Eddie Gilbert. And I should have, you know, I, sh I should have listened. You should always listen to your mom, because they, I guarantee you, it came true just like she said it would. And Eddie Gilbert... You come out here today with the big smiles and all your laughing and all your celebrating and all your pals, all your friends. 
and you say that you are the USWA, and you brought your biggest fireball that you had last Monday night, you burned the hair off my chest, and you, you tried to get me right in the face. I know what you were trying to do, Eddie Gilbert, because for some reason you are sick. You are obsessed with me. And I'm going to tell you something. You think that because you can surround yourself with the Dream Machine and your brother Doug, the Eliminators and the Rotten Brothers, that you got all the friends. But I think that little piece of tape just a few minutes ago showed you that I still got friends too. I got some friends, not only these thousands of people that are out here and watch this TV show every week, but people like Brian Christopher and people like Jeff Jarrett, who finally I want to thank these people because they were instrumental in letting Jeff realize what a liar the dream machine was that Troy Graham had been feeding him misinformation week after week, that he had been telling him that I and everybody down here in Memphis had been knocking Double J. Well, Jeff now realizes that that wasn't the case, and he has agreed, he has volunteered to take the time off from the WWF next Monday night, and he will be right here at the Mid-South Coliseum. He will be my partner, and we will be facing you, Dream Machine, and you, Eddie Gilbert, face to face. And we're going to go in that ring knowing what to expect. I'm not going to be thinking, Eddie Gilbert, that I got you in my corner, that I can trust, that I can turn to. And I'm not going to be having to worry about getting jumped from behind because I know that Jeff Jarrett is going to be there as a partner. And I know this. Monday night, like I said, I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to scream. I'm going to wait till Monday night because you're going to find out that the King's actions speak louder than words. Monday night. Troy Graham, Dream Machine, and Eddie Gilbert. I've said this a lot of times. People are in for the beating of their lives. But I promise you this, I've never meant it any more than I do right now. Monday night, the beating of your lives are in store for you two jerks. It's going to happen at the Mid-South Coliseum. That'll be the main event of the night. Let's yeah. talk about the entire card here in just a moment. Another First. week of Memphis Mayhem coming up down there Monday night. Memphis Mayhem week yeah. number three coming up. And also coming up, we're going to give away some groceries yeah. right here. 20